Hello again, YouTube. This is Truth Man. Give you the truth. This one is entitled "Many Women Punish Men After They Commit to Them." I got this from the comments. His name was. He doesn't have a channel, but oh shoot, his name is is getting pot past me. Anyway, he'll know if he hears it. So. I think was his name Paul Barnett or something like that. Sorry, man, if I can't remember your name, man. But this was a good take. And as I was reading the comments, that which I normally do, most videos I watch, uh, my own comments, other comments, I read the comments. Because sometimes the comments be just as interesting as the video itself. So, this particular guy made a point. Uh, he said that women punish men after they commit to them. And that is true in many cases. And they don't be knowing that they're doing that. And to their defense, I don't believe a lot of them intend to do that. But that's just something that happens. What do I mean by punishment? Okay, this is what you got to go by. If you're a guy that's known for having multiple women, right? And then you decide that you're going to marry one or you're going to stick to one. And now you start losing. Now you start, you're not going up. You're staying in the same place or going down. You can't blame everything on them. But some stuff you can blame on them. What can you blame on them? Things like if a man commits to one woman, no matter what, if she, okay, let's say she starts having issues in her body, she still should find a way to get, get that, help him get his rocks off, so to speak. But some of these women, they're not concerned with you getting your rocks off. And in fact, you shouldn't get your rocks off. If Listen, if you allowed these women to, they wouldn't even want you to, to J.O. They wouldn't even want you to J.O. For those of you who don't know what J.O. is, it's jack off. These women won't give you none, and they won't want you to jack off. But when they see they can't stop you, they, you know, they take the attitude, oh, well, it's better than him going up. No, it's not. It's not better than a married man is doing that. In fact, no married man should be doing that. I mean, it's something wrong with that picture. Why do I have a little light in my glasses? That make it look like something is on my face, but it's moving. So it's not something on my face. So... That, no, that's not okay. Like, when you commit to one woman and she starts to scale back sex, try to reward you with sex like you ain't never got none before, or uh, she tries to punish you by not having sex, that's what he's talking about. That's what they do. Like, after you commit to them, they stop doing some of those things that they were doing that impressed you to begin with. And they said, well, yeah, I stopped doing my job. And, and listen, a little change in the person is, is fine. Like people are going to change. But when it comes to that, you got to understand something. When they, when your man leave the house, he's seeing all types of tantalizing stuff. You come on, you go on YouTube. Even on YouTube, you'll see like women that are pretty to you or or some of them will show you a little more they they got the little the shapes that you like i mean it's like it's a it's almost like a person going to a buffet and trying to eat one piece of meat and the one piece of meat you try to eat Somebody either takes it off your plate or they tell you, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have that, that uh, meat that you want. But you in a buffet with all this meat around. You say, you know what? I just want one piece of meat. I want that piece of meat right there. 
and it disappears. That's what a lot of married men dealing with. That's what they dealing with. And, and then on top of that, it's a lot of fighting going on. You fighting over everything. You said you was going to do this. Oh, uh, you didn't get this. Uh, why didn't you do that? Oh, uh, you, why you stop throwing your stuff on the floor? All this fighting that's going on. Now, let's go there. If you were a fighter in the world, now you had to argue with this person and you can't do anything. Like, let's say, let's say you had girlfriends. Y'all never really argue because, you know, they never really tried to argue with you. Or if they argue with you, you just can get rid of them. Like, hey, I don't want to deal with you no more. You, you doing too much. Not in marriage. In marriage, you're going to pay the ultimate price if you try to get rid of your wife and she doesn't agree to terms where you won't get hit real hard. It's almost like it's a form of punishment. It's like a form of slavery for a lot of guys. And that's why you have guys on here saying never get married because when you do with some of these women, they're going to try to punish you. Like you're going to become poorer because you don't want to deal with them no more. And they could be like a major problem. That's just how it is. And I don't care who don't like it. It's, it's the truth for most people. So that's what he's talking about in terms of punishment. Like it's almost like going without sex is punishment. It's punishment. And and I think that any guy that wife took him through that, if if you go longer than a month, y'all got issues. And even a month, even if it's a month, she should have a good reason for it. And she, oh well my knee still hurt. Okay, well just sit have a seat. If y'all know what I'm talking about. Not doing anything though, that's blatant. That's blatant. Like, there's nothing. If a guy that doesn't, uh, like, let's say a guy that doesn't sneak behind this woman's back, you telling her you faithful and you, then you sneak behind her back. Other than that, even with that, like, that's still, to me, that's not like a reason to just go with zero sex or, or very little sex. There's nothing really that a man could do other than if he puts you in some type of danger um, that will really be even a smidgen of a reason for you to just do that to a man. Like, I don't, I don't agree with it at all. I, me personally, I don't think women that do that should be married to anybody and i don't think anybody should marry them or try to marry them because they say well i just did that to him yeah you'll do it to him too if you get mad at him. they'll do it to the next guy too so that, i mean that's that's what it's like man that's you know some women need to get cheated on they begging to get cheated on when they go without sex or even when they go be half stepping with it like they all right come on they don't want to do it they don't want you to do anything where they have to wash up and all this other stuff that man don't nobody want that Don't nobody want that. I mean, your your wife really should be better than all of your girlfriends when it come to that. Like, she should be the best, and she should have the most stamina and everything. Like, remember how you say, well, people get older. All, and I, I don't, me personally, I know for a fact that doesn't matter. It matters. People literally... If you don't like somebody or you got a hatred or a dislike for somebody, that's when people start doing that. And if you get that way in your marriage, then you should be trying to leave. Like, this is what women not going to do. 
They not gonna just say, well, I'm just gonna leave. I'll take care of myself, don't worry about it. You can keep the kids. You know, I'll, in fact, I'll help you. Uh, I'll help you raise the kids, you know, but I'm just gonna leave and I'm, I'm gonna find what I'm looking for out here. Most guys would be like, well, hey, you know, I hate that it worked out this way, but it is what it is, you know? But this, they do the total opposite. They want to drag you in court. Everything they do, all the moves most of them make affect the kids negatively. Now your kids is at school with holes in their shoes because you taking all his money and you not buying them no shoes with it. You telling your new little cleanup punk, oh, uh, yeah, I know it's your birthday and I know you wanted those Jordans, so I got them for you. But your kid's shoes is talking. Your, your kid's shoes saying hello to everybody. Hello. Like, hello. But, you know, that's what he's talking about, basically. Like, you know, guys are being punished and women still trying to bite back. And in fact, like I've ha I've had some discussions with my wife about the same content. She does not agree with me at all. And she's not supposed to. She's not supposed to because they're women. They like they're gonna agree. Most of them ain't gonna agree with, with what we say. They're gonna stick together like sisters. So yeah, like all that, like especially if you was hammering ex-girlfriend. You was smish, 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 just hammering. Now you with her. You didn't commit to her. You committed to her and now crickets. No, man. No. 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 And some of these guys said, well, you your ex and do that too. You don't know that. You don't know what the ex of a guy that's not getting on would do. She might. But you don't know that for sure. You know? The one that's doing it need to become an ex. Y'all be humming it for the kids. Yep, and your your wing ding just like this all the time. Like you you take a you take a whiz in the toilet and you practically gotta wake it up. Like you just, it's been so soft for so long, you practically have to wake yourself up. Wake up, man. Wake up. It's just sleep like no action. The wing ding will get lazy. If he ain't getting no action, then it girl, he having that. No, you're the problem. You want to tell your friends, tell your sis, girl, you have. Okay, this is what you do, ladies and gents. Anybody that tells somebody that their husband is having that problem, say this. Say, oh, really? When the last time you did something? And they say, uh, two weeks ago. Okay, what about before that? Just keep going down the line. Keep going down the line because if it's not frequent, that's the main time guys start having those issues. Like when a woman don't want to do the setup work, we'll just call it. You know what your man's setup work is. You don't want to do it. Or you haven't done it like you haven't done the setup work you just trying to change all the time and each in between each time is weeks or months and no nah, that's wing wing ding problems you want to sw you want to switch up every time and do less and less nah man it, especially if he in his 30s 40s come on now come on now See, I think a lot of women be trying to get away with what they got away with in the 20s. Like, all right, come on. Bang, 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 bang. Raw. That, that stuff don't... When you get older, that stuff ain't going to work, man. Just to be honest about it. 
some people just need to be by themselves. That's all it is. Some of these women need to be single. And some of the single ones need to be in a relationship. Like if I'm I'm, I'm gonna say this in a PG thirteen fashion. A single woman that's not a 304 that has that enthusiasm. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. Don't waste waste your vigor, ladies, on toys. And don't go over to your own same side. Eventually, somebody will notice. Because the light is going to shine over your head. You're going to have practically a glow. Like, if you're a pleasant person, and you ain't did nothing evil to no guys, like, you ain't hit them with all this alimony, divorce, all this stuff, and you just a pleasant person, you're a nice person, you ain't never used sex as a weapon, somebody's going to notice a bitch. They're going to notice a bitch. And you the type, you still have a high level of enthusiasm. You'll be all right. I think a lot of y'all going to be all right. Just don't become evil. Don't become, be yourself. You get your heart broke, still be you. Be who you are in a relationship. Oh, don't do none of that evil stuff or none of that. If you don't like a guy, just leave. Don't try to get money from him. Get your own money. And I'm telling you, like, reap what you'll reap what you sow. Some people call it karma. It'll come back on you in a good way. If you start doing evil stuff, you're going to get the wrong guy. You're going to get one of them crafty liars. Then he's going to either try to go upside your head or... He gonna have all type of girls and probably give you an STD. Or he might get you pregnant. Like he, these guys get you pregnant. They don't care how old you is. Then you be 40 some years old. Pregnant. Guy done got her pregnant. So, yeah, they, I mean, they do punish, man. But we don't end this video. This is Truth Man Channel. There's no matrix, no simping. On Sunday's channel, thank you to my new subscribers. Y'all need to hit that like button, button more than y'all doing. And watch the video. Don't click on and click off. Listen to what I'm saying. Why, why do you need thumbnails? Why did that stuff matter? What matters is what's being said. Thanks for watching.